Okay, the best way to get a feel for all the products that we do is to run through the products page on our wiki site at www.heatweb.com forward slash wiki. It's not as pretty as our main website, but there's a lot of content uh, and all the documentation stored here. Now if I just scan down the page, just to give you a feel for the range. We start with traditional cylinders, copper or stainless steel with bosses positioned where required, coils as required. We move on to domestic unvented cylinders. So we have our traditional electric, indirect, twin coil cylinders, horizontal cylinders. Um, and we move on to pre-plumbed options. So this is with the unvented kit fitted with various plumbing options, motorized valve options, programmer options. Now the range of unvented which are unique to ourselves include the Amazon HX in. So this is a system where we are fitting a plate heat exchanger to the outside of the cylinder, which is used to reheat the cylinder instead of a coil. So a cylinder with an HXM recovery system fitted can deliver twice if not more of the hot water of a traditional indirect cylinder, even if it is half the size. We have the twin unit, so this is for systems which you really never need to run out of hot water. So it's a single heat exchanger set feeding into two unvented cylinders. Again we can do bosses to suit, so you can have two cylinders in parallel with large inlets and outlets to hit some extremely high flow rates. We have a conversion kit for existing cylinders to turn them into rapid recovery cylinders using again a plate heat exchanger. This is our slim HIU retrofitted to an Amazon Unvented. We also do cylinders prefabricated for district heating applications. So this is a cylinder that fitted within a frame on top of a washing machine with all of the equipment required for a district heating, including a plate heat exchanger for running the central heating system off. Now we get to heat bank thermal stores. Now the heat bank, which is our trademark name for th our range of thermal stores using plate heat exchangers. Um, we've been doing thermal stores heat, heat bank units for 25 years. Um, this is the system that's copied by everyone else in the UK. Hence the name heat bank is, well, is a very well known term and often mistaken as a generic term. Now the heat bank Excel is the system that we use for multi-fuel. Uh, the heat bank Pandora is the system that we use to replace a traditional unvented system. So it comes in electric options, indirect options, twin coil options. The main difference between a Pandora heat bank and an unvented cylinder is the it's a thermal store, it's a vented thermal store, so it doesn't and it doesn't require a discharge pipe. So the Pandora has sold in thousands in London into new build applications where you, they want a cylinder that can be fitted quickly in a covered space. There's no need to worry about a discharge route. And as an added bonus, the installers do not need to be unvented qualified on G3 discharge routes, nor do they need to spend time prefabricating the systems with controls. So we do, for example, the indirect system is fitted with all the cylinder stats, motorized valves, programmers. System here is the Pandora for district heating applications, the heat bank Pandora HXN. So this is a system fitted with plate heat exchange for district heating connection as well as all the heat metering equipment. Again, this is a system that doesn't require discharge pipes. The Heat Bank 2000 Electric was one of the first ever thermal stores approved by Scottish Power to run on the Economy 2000 tariff. And the idea is an electric storage heater, wet central heating. So immersion heaters are used to heat up the store at cheap rate tariff times and the store is sized large enough to deliver central heating through periods of no electricity. The Heat Bank XL, this is the system that's best known for multi fuel systems. So it's the only thermal store in the UK that carries the approval of nearly every wood burner manufacturer. It also carries a number of patents which cover overheat discharges uh, using an internal quench coil system, uh, top down GX recovery system. Um, 
It's a bit difficult to pin down one particular design. The Excel system is custom made for every application with numerous software packages available online to design your own system. If you'd like to connect a wood burner to solar panels, to underfloor heating, to radiators, to boilers or any mix of the above then the Excel heat bank is the system for you. And it comes in so many flavours. The heat bank mini BEMS is one example. So this is a system where we've had all the controls encased in an EPP casing on the front of the unit to reduce any heat losses from your pipe work. This unit is also tailored to district heating applications with one of the latest electronic control systems that will manage a heat network. Other variants on the heat bank principle are using Actotherm cylinders. So these are large cylinders used typically for buffer applications with biomass systems. Again, we can prefabricate them with all the required controls, including plate heat exchangers for delivery of hot water. We do buffer stores, so these are general purpose stores for use with heat pumps, boiler systems, um, any application really. Now we're coming to domestic HIUs. Now domestic HIUs are used for district heating applications where you have a centralised boiler plant feeding heat to numerous applications. The three mass market HIUs that we do for the domestic market are the SLIM, the DIGI and the DATA. The SLIM is a hot water only unit providing just hot water from a district heating network. It can also be used for delivering central heating up to a temperature of 65 degrees C and as we saw before for recovering unvented cylinders. The Digi HIU is for district heating applications where the central heating is fed directly from the district heating plant but you need a plate heat exchanger for generating domestic hot water and this has space for a heat meter fitted internally. The data is the full-blown HIU for providing hot water and central heating with two heat exchangers so you have a heat exchanger for the hot water, a heat exchanger for central heating and the central heating circuit is isolated from the main district heating network. It comes with all of the pumps, expansion vessels, security valves. Now this HIU is possibly the most advanced HIU on the market. It's been through the latest Swedish test standards and we can have we have data to independently prove its performance, which is again far more information as shown on the wiki site. Customize HIUs. Um, so as well as the standard stuff, we do HIU specifically made for particular applications. Some of them are shown here. The Ether is an HIU, a twin plate HIU using the electronic HIU as a foundation, um, but also adding to it an extra heating circuit, as well as building in a full managed Ethernet switch. The idea being for establishing an Ethernet backbone around a site. The cupboard HIU is one of our latest products which is um, a selection of building services including your typical HIU services of hot water and heating but also with air handling, um, unvented kits, uh, distribution boards fitted into a easily serviceable insulated um, and fairly attractive framework. The camper HIU is used on uh, camping sites hence its name but any application which requires a heat interface unit to be fitted outside. So it's a fiberglass encasing with a space 600 millimeters off the ground to allow for sites that flood um, and it will take most of our range of HIUs. The Utility Master is a single plate heat exchanger unit for driving an internal primary system that will usually drive a hot water cylinder as well as heating and we have two extra services in this case two cold supplies for the Irish market uh, a typical cold supply and a drinking water supply. We have a range of customised HIUs with larger heat exchangers for typically for biomass boiler markets for replacement of old oil boilers but these is a multi-purpose range which can have up to two, one, two heat exchanger circuits a selection of various types of controls, zoned outputs 
and we do a smaller version, a smaller box. These are now available in EPP casings, this range as well. We do the old school mechanical HRU systems, which there's not much call for anymore, but they still have their place. Um, commercial systems, a large part of our business is based around designing heat exchanger sets, modular systems for plant rooms. So these include the high flow units, which is a modular heat exchanger system, uh, three here used at NHS and Kettering. Each of these drives domestic hot water at approximately 200 kilowatts. So we have 600 kilowatts of domestic hot water output here on a redundant system. The high flow modules uh, have moved on a little bit since Kettering to the point where now they tend to be racked up. So the site here at Putney is the high flow systems uh, split into four units. Uh, six sets doing one and a half megawatts of domestic hot water. There's another three sets doing a commercial set. Um, three modules doing radiators. Three doing underfloor heating. They all work together with an electronic system cooperating to manage the load drawn from the plant. Um, providing all the domestic services essentially from plant room. Buffer storage is again something that goes hand in hand and this is again a um, typical example from Putney Plaza where we have a range of 8,000 litres of storage split into uh, two banks, 4,000 litres of high temperature and 4,000 litres of low temperature storage. We do compact modular storage so this is based typically upon the aquatherm range of rectangular tank units but it allows us to squeeze huge amounts of storage into small spaces and provide heat exchanger sets at one end of the storage. The cupboard HIU system developed initially for domestic cupboard spaces also has its place now in commercial spaces with a range of services which will typically be large output plate heat exchangers like the high flow system Unvented systems, this one here was one that went into the first ever renewables branch of KFC. It stores heat taken from a CHP unit that is driven by chip fat. So it's a specialised design for a specialised application in the commercial arena. We're also quite big into controls. With prefabricating our systems we inevitably learn all about the normal traditional controls. But a large part of what we've been working on is electronics, automating systems, networking systems uh, and working with billing systems. So we have a range of control options, some of them built on open source technology such as the IHIU Linux control platform, IHIU touch system which is based on Raspberry Pi technology. We provide the ancillary equipment that's often needed but difficult to come by such as managed Ethernet switches to set up the backbones and we put this technology together to provide control options such as network control valve. So this is a pressure independent control valve system with an electronic control valve on it that will sit on a network and you can basically control flow rate um, on, an, on the valve from anywhere on the network from Google Calendar, various control options. And the, the Mini BEMS control platform is a new platform that we're working with to provide uh, control over various aspects of renewable systems, heat exchange systems and also to manage district heating networks. Finally the services as well as the manufacturing the range of products on top of that it's worth going through the services that we provide so as you may have gathered we do bespoke systems so we design from scratch hot water or heating systems to the customers requirements and we have software online to allow customers to do most of this work themselves this here is a picture, for example, from the National Trust's flagship renewables branch in Morden Hall with a combination of wood burners, heat pumps, solar thermal, solar PV. Product development. So we, manufact we design all of the products that we manufacture. Uh, we've been doing this for, for decades. Um, this here is a photograph of one of the research and development test rigs. But we offer these product development services to third parties. So if you have a particular application that you need a product designing for, um, they're the kind of services that we can also provide. Remote monitoring. We currently have approximately 90 systems up on remote monitoring. 
um, typically based on our open source Linux platforms. Um, this is a screen typically of, of four stories, four storage systems on site where we are seeing live data of temperatures. But we offer a range of remote control monitoring platforms, typically contract free. Training, where we have, we're attached on site to the UK's oldest HITAS Renewables Training Centre and the UK's largest Renewables Training Centre. We offer training courses, BPEC approved training courses, HITAS approved training courses and district heating training courses. Um, probably the largest training centre in all in the UK there is. We offer technical analysis and consulting on site. Um, so if you have a site that isn't working correctly we almost certainly be able to tell you why it isn't working and be able to conduct studies on site to determine the problems and the quickest solutions. And finally design software. You'll find scattered around our sites various tools which can be used for sizing hot water systems, performing calculations, working out paybacks and renewables and the like. Okay, thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much for listening. 